Chemical Reaction Engineering Gone Wrong. This is the story of John, chemical engineer at Ethylene Oxide RS, a company responsible for 100% of U.S. ethylene oxide. John had it all, a loving family, great friends, and a job that required little manual labor. That all changed when John made a critical mistake in his calculations for his company's new, expensive pack bed reactor. Worst mistake in my life, hands down. Are you still in contact with your wife? No. Kids? No one believes in me anymore after what happened. So, how did this all happen? It was such a small mistake, I thought. I never realized it had such a big effect. What was the critical mistake in John's calculations? What event caused John's life to drift away? We asked John to take part in a reenactment of that fateful day at Ethylene Oxide RS. So, thanks for coming out to see my presentation on this Thursday morning. So we have our new Ethylene Oxide, PVR. Taking ethylene, takes an oxygen, creating ethylene oxide. It's just wonderful. So things that are going well down at the plant are the weather's been great so far. Uh, there is some product being formed. There hasn't been any work injuries yet, and the lines won on Sunday, so that's great. Things aren't really going well though is less product than expected is being formed, and because of that, we're really losing a lot of money. So our expected conversion was 0.92. That's just great, real high conversion but our actual conversion is real low. But, I mean, we're still making product, just not very much of it. So do you guys have any questions about this? So why is the conversion so low? What are you going to do to, uh, to correct that? So I think we should hook up multiple PVRs in series then. You know, it's really throwing money at the problem and hope it kind of solves itself. So have you thought about pressure drop? What you talking about, pressure? I think you should be taking pressure drop into consideration. I'll write out the ergon equation for you. So a drop in pressure down the length of a reactor will decrease the amount of conversion. If we increase the particle diameter, we'll be able to decrease the amount of pressure drop down the length of the reactor. I think that's what we need to do. Clearly, John had rounded edges with respect for his understanding for gas phase reactions. As pressure decreases, the concentrations of chemicals inside the reactor decrease at a faster rate. This, in turn, leads to a slower rate of reaction and a smaller final conversion. So, he completely forgot pressure drop then? Yeah, he just forgot pressure drop. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you forgot pressure drop. He wow, forgot. this is... All that money gone. You're fired. Oh, this is the end of your career. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are you in your life right now? I've been transferred to the first order liquid phase reaction division. It's actually great because I'll never have to consider pressure drop again. Before at the gas phase division, I couldn't walk around the plant anymore without having somebody laugh at me. And your new job site is in Columbus? That's where the liquid phase division is stationed? Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. The people there I heard are terrible. And do you have any me messages for your viewers aspiring to be chemical engineers? Never ever forget pressure drop in a gas phase reaction. I did, and it ruined my life. So this is my first reaction in the liquid phase division. It's liquid, so I didn't have to think about uh, pressure changes anymore, so that's great. But I'm still getting this really low conversion, and I still don't know why. So I was wondering if you guys had any uh, suggestions about this? Did you even think about heat effects? Come on! 